Corona shuts down NTA and three other media houses for covering PDP rally. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Bello Matawali, the governor of Zamfara State, has ordered the closure of a Nigerian slavery authority, NTA, and three other media houses in the state. Other affected media houses include Gamji TV, Al Umar TV, and Pride FM Radio. All are located in the Guzao, in the Guzao, the state capital. The Point reported. What announcing the shutdown in the radio broadcast, Ibrahim Dosara, the state commissioner for information, stated that media houses were shut down for alleged violation of professional ethics. Why did Zamfra shut down NTA? Dosara stated and disclosed that the affected media houses attended the political rally organized by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, while the government had banned political rallies for security release reasons in the state. His statement reads in part, The state government has suspended all political activities in the state due to security challenges, but the People's Democratic Party ignored the order and held a rally in Guzao, the state capital, where one person was killed and 18 others were injured. The four media houses, NTA, Gamji Television, al Uma TV, and Pride FM Radio were also at the event to cover the occasion, even though they were aware of the ban on political rallies by the state government. Well, so this is like um, using Peter committed offense and you're punishing Paul. Uh, the thing is, why not call the PDP out instead of punishing these media houses? So me, they want to do their work now. It just be like say they tell me they don't come and say come so okay, make so so personal you come my shop come buy something. I mean they talk up they no come tell you I shall hear. Her. Sincerely, some of these governments, some of these governors are real dictators. Can you imagine a governor closing media houses for covering a political rally? This is terrible and should not be allowed to continue. He should be called to order. Well, it's a case of looking at it very closely. Like I said, it is not okay for a particular... It's not okay for, what's it called, for him to come outside now and say he wants NTA and all that is enclosed. If you read from the news, if you read the news very well, you're going to see that one person died in that particular rally and about eight people were injured. And this is media calculation of they're not giving us, they're not giving us, what's it called? They're not giving us the exact figure. Tomorrow might hear that it is more than. Now the thing is, I know that one person died and I also know that some people were injured. But this is the work of the, what's it called? This is the work of the, I mean, the government should punish or the governor should punish those involved, not NTA. Call out the People Democratic Party. Call them out. Speak to them. Demand questions from them. State why you are against them. State it. And then, you know, and then, uh, what's the called? It's going to be easier for you to come out and say, okay, this is who did and this is how did. And at the end of the day, this is what they did. All right, have you taken time to read why he took the decision? Should the blood of innocence shed on the altar of politics? It is only the living that will see another day, even to the level of voting. Yeah, you have a point, Sha. That's not an excuse. Campaign has started. You can't be ruling the party and cage other party. It is self interest. I cannot blame the governor. He. Okay, he gained that from Tunubu because Tunubu wants a monopoly of all, even politics. He wants to turn the country into a single party system. Please see Lagos as case study. Like I said, there is a way where he would have, you know, called them to order. Hmm? He'd have called them to order and, you know, this. All right. Truly, the campaign does start to demand should not. But the thing is, the, it is inconsequential now. This particular man, very inconsequential. Okay, that is not an excuse. 
cam campaign has started. You can't be ruling party and cage other party or oh, okay. We shall see if APC will not rally because of security when they have started caring for the people. I see him as a hypocrite, hypocrite and happy drunk. Are you really serious? No, he ought to arrest the organizers of the political rally and the attendees and not to clamp down innocent reporters about our constitutional duties. Now somebody is saying what I want to hear. This thing I wish he's supposed to do. He's not supposed to he don't arrest this, the wrong set of people. He's like Peter committed an offense and you're punishing Paul for it. And it is not right. Okay, if the media did not report about the event, how would he have gotten to know about it? Me thinks he was looking for opportunity to close them down. Exactly. All right. Even if people are killed in the rally, he has no excuse to close out the media house to cover the rally. He should only file house to arrest the killers and bring them to book. We are in a democratic dispensation and not in a military dictatorship. Oh, okay. Can such action be transited to APC rally in the same state? Be honest with your answer, please. Of course. All right. Um, my own is he did not do well. Kushidada, why? Because he left people he was supposed to punish, and he's punishing another person. There was a country, indeed, and tomorrow my youth will go and die for these criminals. The youth should wise up. Okay, I think has proved to be a call for any man. If eventually he wins election, he will continue the whole evil of Buhari government. If if he will not even do more. Okay. That governor must be an illiterate. He's not an illiterate. Whatever I wish others must surely come to you. Atika has been instigating the Northerners not to vote for other parties. Now they have said to it. All right. He's not an illiterate. Okay, the governor must be an illiterate. Whatever you wish others must surely come to you. Okay. I think I've sent this particular comment. PDP did it to other political parties in their area. No other political party was allowed to aid their campaign to them. All right. PDP did it to other political parties in their era. No other political party was allowed to their campaign then. And Atiku Luta enjoyed it then. So paying them back is the best thing ever. All right. There is a governor supposed to have a case with the media houses or the organizers of the rally. Organizers of the rally are not the media houses, so you should. At the end of the day, <laughs> sincerely, I don't know. At the end of the day, this man now. All right. Well, um, they are proud and powerful as always, as always portray themselves to be the owners of Nigeria. Let them divide this country and let everyone be on their own and end all this nonsense. All right. Well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this would have happened. They would have, you know, um, invited the do to organize the rally to come. And then when they come, they check it and see that this particular person how do i put it all right um at the end of the day i just hope that nigerians can see for themselves what is really going on and be able to make the right decision come 2023 okay on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning to listen until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.